Good morning, this is Larry McMillan with a stock market update on Monday, November 22nd. So we're entering Thanksgiving week with the S&P right at the highs, uh, QQQ also right at the highs. The other indices though are lagging behind and a lot of the market internals are way behind that. But um, you know, where the fact is that after Thanksgiving there's usually more buying in December. So. Uh, it seems like the bulls have sort of run out of space here, but we'll see because um, the market is in certain areas overbought, but in others are already getting oversold. So let's specifically look at this. The S&P chart is bullish. I mean, the, uh, with the index making new highs and the trend higher, uh, a close of about 47.20 would be a clear upside breakout and um, would keep the bullish trend intact. Uh, looking a little bit beyond that, though, uh, we do have that um, uh, modified Bollinger Band sell signal in place. And uh, right now, it would be stopped out on a close of about 47.30. So, uh, again, <clears throat> that's not a very good, uh, strong sell signal. Equity-only put call ratios are mixed. Uh, we have a sell signal from the standard ratio now. But the weighted ratio continues to fall. It's the rate of its descent has slowed, and it's um, basically right at the lows of earlier this year where cell signals did emanate. But right now, uh, it hasn't given that cell signal yet. Breadth has been absolutely terrible. Uh, even on most up days, breadth has been not just negative, but you know, heavily negative. As a result, our breadth oscillators not only are on sell signals, but they're already in oversold territory, which means that any improvement in breadth from here is actually going to give a buy signal from the oscillators, even though S&P and S&P 500 is already at its all-time highs. This just demonstrates the uh, differential that exists once again between the index, S&P, and in particular QQQ and the regular stock, the average stock. So um, the last time this happened was in September, and uh, the first buy signal from the breath oscillators was uh, negated, but then the second one was a very strong one, which lasted, well, really, until uh, into almost early November. So <clears throat> this is negative right now, but still has some potential coming forward. Um, new highs versus new lows, that's a little bit interesting. On Friday, for the first time in quite a while, New York Stock Exchange new lows uh, outnumbered new highs, and so that gives us a sell signal from that indicator. It would be stopped out if new highs uh, exceed new lows for two consecutive days, so it's not like it's an intermediate term indicator. But on the short term, that indicator has also turned negative. So we've seen uh, in recent weeks, this has sort of been building. Breath has been poor, put call ratios uh, beginning to get in very overbought uh, territory, and uh, new highs, new lows kind of wavering. But overall, uh, the S&P just continues to go higher. And the volatility complex, the implied volatility complex, uh, VIX, uh, continues to support S&P. There, there's not a spike peak in place right now, but uh, VIX, while it's been slowly rising higher, is not giving any danger signs. It has not begun an uptrend, for example. Moreover, the construct of the volatility derivatives is still positive. The term structure slopes upwards. And as I mentioned, you know, one other thing to keep in mind is this positive seasonality that starts here uh, right after Thanksgiving. <clears throat> so... Um, we're retaining a core bullish position, and we will trade sell signals around that. But uh, for now, the bulls still seem to have the upper hand, and we'll see if they can retain that uh, through the normally positive seasonal post-Thanksgiving period. I invite you to visit our website, uh, check out our newsletters and other things that we are offering, including educational tools, and uh, have a great Thanksgiving. See you next week.